Hey everybody, Nick Rump, back with another episode of Bonnet Basics. And today we're gonna to be discussing the history of bonnets. So a bonnet is a French word that's used to describe headgear for all genders. But before European high fashion in the 18th century, it represented the lower status and biblical devotion of women. Like the Amish women. African American influence over the bonnet starts like all great American stories. With slavery. Groundbreaking. In colonial New Orleans, frontline and center. So black women back in the 1800s were known to wear their hair in elaborate styles. These styles caught the attention of white men, causing competition with white women for status and authority. <laughs> Everybody love chocolate. So then Governor Don Estevan passes the Tignon Law. Black women wear swear a Tignon, scarf and handkerchief over their hair as a visible sign of belonging to the enslaved class regardless of freedom status. The irony is, while a sign of bondage in the colonies, head wraps signaled regality in Africa. So yes, black women covered their hair, but they did so with lavish and luxurious fabrics and jewels. Oh, this Marie Laveau level black girl magic. Then as black entrepreneurs like Madam C.J. Walker helped to make black hair more manageable, the bonnet became the tool to sustain and protect texture. That's actually really true. I wear a bonnet when I sleep. Now, respectability politics once again has tension surrounding black women and bonnets in public. And the thing is, bonnet or a ball gown, do-rag or a three-piece suit, police will still literally kill you in the streets anyway. So what the f is the difference? As always, can't make this up. 